So James, we've come here today to Metcalf Farms. Uh, you're a local engineer. Yeah. And um, so there was, a, I suppose, there was a need here to come up with a with an invention to solve a problem here. Yeah. So uh, Philip rung up and uh, yeah asked us to come and help and look at a, a problem that yeah. he had. And uh, yeah, so that's where Laxaline was born. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so have you a local engineering business here? Just. Yeah. So yeah. I'm an agriculture engineer, uh, and uh, yeah, make all sorts of different weird and wonderful things and um, yeah I kept busy so yeah it um, I live not very far from here a workshop not far from here yeah and um, so yeah so what, uh, we'll talk about this in a minute what else would you make or design so um, quite a wide variety of things there's, there's a silo crab here that is a bucket with doors on the front for collecting up leftover feed um, there's I make um, compact front boxes to go on the front of tractors the, re the difference is that they go on the arms when they're folded up so they don't stick out very far. Um, I import machinery from Italy for pumpkins and vegetable producers. Um, so it's quite a sort of variety, variety of, um, of different things that we do. My, my background was robotic milking. I did 10 years installing, servicing and repairing robot milking machines okay. in the north of England. And uh, so yeah, and started J. Hudson in 2014. Okay, very good. So we'll have a look at this device here. So, so ju just tell us how it's attached anyway here. So it's attached to the front so, yeah, end of the rotary. So it's bolted through the through. There's a, there's a void up the back of there, so it's bolted through the through the curb. Yeah. And um, so yeah, when the cows come in, uh, clusters get put on, and then the milkers flick that up, and including the cord as well. So but the point being that the cord, when it comes off, mm. the cord pulls it out of the way. Right. And that okay. then it helps it. it get it out of the way. Yeah. Ready yeah. for it. So it then gets reset to come back round again. Okay. It was fitted on this part on the 28th of December 2020 on yeah. every point. Okay. It's been used every milking, every cow since then, um, and yeah, it's, it's done a good job. Yeah. So, what are you seeing as the main benefits, say, for Philip here and the family? What are you seeing the main benefits here for, for the farm? So, uh, reduction in lion slip, reduction in kickoffs, and reduction in reattachments, and also, uh, the, Philip records the mastitis by quarter, so he knew he had a, a bias front to back. That was the main reason for developing this was to try and reduce the mastitis and, and do away with that bias. Yeah. And it has done that. Right. Okay. It was, we didn't know whether it would or not, because this was the first installation. Mm. Um, we didn't know how it would work, but in fairness, it, yeah. So it is. is it given stability, or is and it, it's given, you know, you can adjust the height depending on the height of the cow's order and stuff yeah. like that, is it? So in a rotary, you've got like split second to put something in place to, to, to take the weight of the pipes. Yeah. And so, it's a split decision. It's a split second decision as to which one it goes into. Yeah. But once the milkers have done it enough, it, it's it instinctive. Just, yeah. Really. It's just part of milking. Yeah. So it doesn't take. It's not like you've got to stand there and decide. It yeah. just. It just happens. So and, the, um, the, the cluster is going on first. Is that right? A standard. Yeah. And then this. Then you're. Yeah. Then this makes up. Yeah. And the, the point being that it's taking the weight of the pipes that then balances the weight of the cluster on a cow. Yeah. So um, she's possibly less likely to kick it off as well, or be successful yeah. kicking it off if, she, if there's a bit of force up? Yeah, it's, we can, I can only assume that the reduction in kickoffs is because it's more comfortable. Yeah, okay. Um, and obviously, the cows that particularly benefit from it would be cows where the rear teats are higher than the front, mm. because you've got even more of a problem mm. of the cluster pulling the wrong way. So, yeah, it's. Um, so, in terms of installation, is it self? install or do you do you typically install in the UK or what's the routine? So it, yeah it's as it, we send out a template that yeah. you clamp on the side on a rotary it's to be bolted on the side yes and it's basically that clamps on and that that determines where your holes are so yeah it, it can be self-installed on the um, on a rapid exit in a herringbone it's a bracket that clamps on so it's 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 dead easy to fit yeah and we'll have a look at that in a minute so just just in terms of its position here it's not dead center no so why 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 so the, the reason for that is because it over centers okay so it stands itself up yeah so james you were saying you have a solution for a herring one it's not just for rotaries this is a bracket that goes onto the curb that clamps on and then this allows for it to slide up and down the reason being that in a herring bone and a rapid exit the cows don't always stand dead in the middle so you need to have a little bit of movement left and right and um so yeah We've got different ones for different parlours. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, when you start doing this, you realise how many different curbs there is. So everyone keeps coming along saying, oh, "I've got this." So, yeah. you, but we'll, we'll get to the point where we've got all the possible brackets that, that ever exist. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's. Yeah. So it fits in the curb, obviously here, the top part of it, and that's 
Yeah. It's, it's hauling the whole ass. Yeah, so for that, that one, it's a round tube. In fairness, that bit's on the wrong way around, but the round tube goes in there and it's a flat plate. Yeah. But they're all different. Yeah. Like, they're all, and um, in fairness, installation for a herringbone and a rapid exit is dead easy because it just bolts on. And uh, yeah. So that's very much a self install, obviously, those yeah. ones are. But yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay. No, there's, there's no, yeah, there's no need for. Uh, Okay, so just a price point there, maybe just as the one you have in your hand for a herringbone. How much is that typically for so, a herringbone? So the herringbone's £150 a point, yep. uh, rapid exit's 125 and uh, the rotary is 110 okay. excluding insulation. The reason being that with the rotary, there's a lot less parts. It's a lot, it's, it's, there's more insulation time required, but there's a lot less moving parts, yep. a lot less folded stainless steel, okay. which is the expensive okay. bit. And what's <laughs> the difference with a rapid exit then, Clint, say, you know, your rapid exit one was cheaper. Yeah, so because it, because on the herringbone it doesn't have a twist in here. Okay. So on the, on the okay, herringbone this has got a twist in yeah, it, and okay. there's another piece of stainless steel. I see. So yeah. What idea was it, Philip? Was it yours or James? Yeah, the need came through. You know, we needed uh, better weight distribution of the clusters. Yes. In the car. It yes. was absolutely urgent, and we knew it was a big fault with this car. Um, so, like a dairy consultant sent an email around saying, you know, we need a solution. And, and just a light came on, because I knew roughly what we wanted. Mm. It was the old pull it over the ACR cord that was the red light moment. So we got James in. Yes. And then together we put it together. But, you know, James has a lot of skill in where to get materials from, crafting things. And mm. then, you know, like James had the real good idea of offsetting it to keep the weight off. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's it in a nutshell. Really. I know. So. I know. And the offset is. It's, it's helping both ways, isn't it? Yes. It's not, not everything. You could go left and right if it was dead in the middle. Yes, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's ambidextrous up to there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And the improvements you've seen, Philip? Yeah, well, uh, the mastitis, we were getting 30% more mastitis on the front quarters. And then, so that's completely evened up over here. Okay. And then, independent trial done with the dairy consultants, uh, seen a reduction in line of sleep. Okay. And then kick offs as well. Yes. So, really you know, sort of work, doing its job really well. Okay, good. Look, it's a simple device, obviously, so it's good to see that yes. the solution on a big farm like this, it has yes. a compounding effect. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah, the milkers have got used to it as well, haven't they? Oh, yes, but it's, it's like anything. You know, whenever there's something different to do, it's, it's a problem. You know, but now we've got used to it, they're absolutely fine. Yeah. You know, if there's less uh, units getting kicked off, surely that's a positive. It is. It is. It's annoyance for people when that happens, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. But James, so for people who have maybe an interest in it, it's, um, I think a lot of people can relate to the solution it's yeah. offering. So for people that want to get in contact, is it, how would you sell it? So it's um, laxline.com is the website. And uh, give us a ring or send an email and uh, we'll be in touch and see if we can help you. Yeah, so it's, it's self-install predominantly? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not obviously yeah. complicated to install. No, I mean, yeah. in, Yes, there is holes to drill in the deck, but it's not that hard, really. A lot yeah. of people think that stainless steel's quite hard to drill, but yeah. if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. Yeah. I've done all the holes I've drilled with a 18-volt Makita. So, yeah. And then the, the herringbone and the rapid exit are just clumping on, so they're yeah. dead easy. So it's export, do we export? Yeah, um, we, we, we have sent some abroad, and it's something that we're, we're trying to develop. It's the uh, same as anything new, it takes a bit of doing. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't just uh, no. happen by itself. Yeah, it's obviously uh, proven to be a good help here, so yeah. no doubt no, it the sort of farmers will benefit from it. It has done a good job here, yeah. and um, yeah, it's, it's the same as anything, it, the same as any product. It, if you're prepared to put the effort in and make it work, it will do a good job for you. Yeah, and it has evolved over time since you developed the first as well, I think, isn't that right? Yeah, there's been some slight changes, like the material slightly thicker and the bracket slightly different, but from a first installation point of view, this has been in over a thousand days and it's done 3.3 million milkings collectively and it's stood up very well to it. Yeah. Right. We've replaced two of the blue part in that time, hmm. which in fairness, I, I don't think is too bad. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, great. Look, thanks for showing us around. All right, no worries. Grand job. Thank you.